Uh, welcome to the Analog Maker YouTube channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, today we're going to do the initial impression review of the Chapman Manufacturing Master Kit 5575 screwdriver kit. Uh, this is a 56 piece screwdriver set and of which there uh, is 51 different bits that come with the kit. This card, if, uh, if it zooms in, kind of gives you a breakdown of all the different types. But uh, there's slotted Phillips, metric and standard bits, and star bits with Fitch Torx. Each one of the bits uh, comes with is made out of a hardened tool steel with an oxide covering. And it comes in this really nice case here. And each one of these slots comes out in the rows and allows you to easily take it and, and go with you. Uh, the handles, which are kind of what makes this kit is unique, there's uh, multiple different handles and, and extensions. So you have the option of uh, going short if you want just a quick a stubby screwdriver and go a little bit longer. Or you can put them together like that. It also comes with two additional options. One is this, this handle here. If you want to do just hand tightening, which is very handy for when you're doing some fine work. As well as what makes this kit unique, uh, they, this little ratcheting system, which uh, you put the bits in and allows you to ratchet in and out. And it's great if you're getting into tight spaces. It also gives you some additional options if you wanted to. You could put this on here like that and you can get some really odd combinations. Uh, it, with this, all the different handles and everything. Uh, I haven't used it in some of those different hands, but I could see when working some type of areas where that, that could be useful. Uh, as I mentioned before, the, the case is exceptionally well made and that, that actually surprised me. Uh, buying stuff from overseas, often the case is kind of a second afterthought and uh, doesn't necessarily fit these where all these tools they're, they're exceptionally snug well made and it seems to be precision fit for plastic which you know that does, doesn't seem to come with a lot of kits uh, some of the pros for this uh, it's exceptionally well made as I said before when you open it up it just exudes quality down to all the bits uh, there's an oxide covering I know a lot of times you get tools they're covering oil uh, they're, some of these you can kind of feel there's a, a light film on it, but at the end of the day, uh, there's no rust on here, and I think it's just to how well the oxide finishes on on these. Uh, this also from the website says that uh, they're a, a hardened tool still, uh, and they they come with a uh, torque specification. Uh, the only cons that I could see when doing my research is they said that some of these bits break, and uh, but uh, it leads me to believe that people are probably using these improperly. Because the kit comes with a, a, a torque chart that shows the approximate working torque and the pro approximate braking torque uh, for all the bits, uh, which is rated in inch inch pounds, which to me shows that it, you know it is a high quality high quality kit because they take the time to do that. Another pro, it's uh, highly versatile, and as I mentioned before, with all these different kits, you can pretty much. De depending if you're just driving in a regular screw or you got something that's kind of in a hard to reach place there's a uh, pretty much something for every type of task out there so the, the versatility with the couple handles you get you know is very good in my my opinion uh, the bits are all precisely cut so in, which means they have a high tolerance so I don't know if you there's no slop when you uh, go into a actual drive so, a fastener in uh, and on the manufacturer's website, that's actually show this because they're tooled and, and not, they're not concave. Uh, it's just hard to describe unless you physically do it. When you actually lock up and it, it, it fits precisely, you, you realize what you've been missing using some of the cheaper products out there. Oh. Uh, the only con that I have for this kit is, is the price, which is about $110 with prime shipping. Uh, when doing my research, there are some other kits made in Germany, like uh, the, the Vera or the Willa. Those kits run several, you know, twenty, thirty dollars a screwdriver, and a whole kit could cost three, four hundred dollars. So, in that in that context, this this kit's actually, I think, pretty relatively priced. But if you're comparing it to something from overseas, specifically China, 
you know something you may get from ikea then then this kits probably is a little bit more expensive but i think it's it's worth every penny and uh the last pro it's usa made that you know that's a subjective thing but not too much stuff is still manufactured in the united states and to be able to get something that's this well made and, and crafted uh made in the united states well that that's a pro in, in my opinion uh if you have any questions please uh comment below and i'd be happy to answer them when and and also i'd like to thank you and uh, please subscribe and like this video and if you did this video did help you and, it, and you are interested in uh, purchasing this kit there's an affiliate link below it helps out the channel all the money i make off the affiliate goes back in the channel to buying more review and doing more more projects so uh if you do do that i appreciate you and thank you and have a good day